high school when I was a junior, I took a psychology class. It was my second period of the day. I liked the class, and one of the best things about it was that we were able to take open book tests. The teacher was really chill and let us work together on stuff, including the tests. We also had an option to take the tests in study rooms, which I always did, because it was much more quiet and I just felt more comfortable in there. I was the only person in the class who did this though, because you needed a pass and the study rooms were all the way in the basement of the school. I guess most students just found that a hassle and would rather work with each other as well. Anyways, one particular Friday when we had a test to take, I did the usual thing which was to get the test from the teacher and then go down to the study room. It took me about five minutes to get down there. There wasn't a whole lot at all on that level of the school. Pretty much just the study rooms and then a couple of storage rooms and some old classrooms that weren't used. I got into one of the rooms and turned on the light. The rooms had carpet floors with a table and a few chairs in each one. They also had a little window for looking out into the hallway. I began the test and searched through my psychology book for the answers. I remember I had just reached question 15 when I suddenly heard over the intercom that we were entering a lockdown. I got a little nervous, but I told myself it was probably nothing. I turned the lights off like we were instructed to, but I didn't see a lock on the door. Our school was kind of old and these study rooms were sort of outdated. I went under the desk and decided to play some games on my phone to pass the time. Several minutes went by without anything happening. Then I heard some footsteps coming down the hallway. I got really nervous knowing the footsteps likely belonged to someone that wasn't supposed to be in the school. I turned my phone off and I got really quiet. The footsteps went down towards the door of my study room. As I hid under the table, I slowly turned my head to look towards the window, and just as I did, I saw a man walk past it. All I could tell is that he was wearing a hooded sweatshirt, really. He walked past without looking in the window, but it still scared me a lot. Then I heard the door open in the room across the hall from mine, and then it shut. He must have gone in it, and at that point, I was seriously considering making a run for it. I was relatively fast, but I didn't know who this guy was. I was trying to psych myself up into running when I heard the door open once again and then shut. I buried my face into the ground and held my breath. I didn't really hear any footsteps though, so I lifted my head slightly to listen. I didn't know whether he had walked away or if he was just standing there. This made it much more risky for me to try to run away, so I decided to stay put for the time. Several minutes went by and I got more and more nervous. I decided once again I was going to try to run back upstairs, and this time I was going to actually do it. I didn't bother getting my backpack or anything, besides just my phone, wallet, and keys. I slowly crawled up the carpet to the door, and then stood up, careful not to make a sound. I then placed my hands on the doorknob. The second it started to turn, I heard it creak, and it sounded extremely loud. At that moment, I knew there was no turning back. I quickly left the room and then headed down the hallways. Once I saw it was clear, I started sprinting towards the stairs which were about 50 feet away. As I was running, I looked down one hallway to my right while passing by and saw the man walking out of a room about 20 feet down the hallway. I ran even faster the rest of the ways and didn't look back. I sprinted up the stairs all the way back to my classroom. Once I got there, I pounded on the door yelling that it was me and after about 10 seconds, I was let in. I told the teacher what had happened, and she alerted the principal. Police were able to get into the basement and locate the man, who was later found hiding in the same study room I had been in. Apparently, the man had broken into the school and beat up one of the teachers, then ran off. They had been searching the school, but hadn't made it to the basement yet. Every time I went near the basement of the school for the rest of my high school career, I would think about that day. This story happened in my freshman year of high school. I had recently moved to a new city and was unfamiliar with things. It was kind of tough for me being at a new school and having to make new friends and whatnot. One day, I had to make up a test, so I went to the history department to take it during my study hall time. And when I was done, I had to make it up to my next class, which was geography. As I was walking, I heard over the speakers that we were on a lockdown. 
I tried to hurry and make it to my class, but I guess it was farther away than I thought, and it took me a little longer than I expected. The hallways were already completely empty because classes were in session. I got more and more nervous the longer I was out in the hallways because I knew I wasn't supposed to be there. Then I saw a teacher come around a corner and see me. He looked surprised to see me, and I almost tried to run away, but I realized it would probably just get me in trouble, so I explained to the teacher I was just trying to get to my class. He said I shouldn't be out in the halls and that I was in trouble. He then told me to come with him, so I began to follow him down the halls. We walked to the end of the hall and down the stairs. Then he went to an exit of the school and started to walk out. I was a little surprised, but I figured maybe we were in a serious lockdown and we were supposed to leave the school. Just as we got out the door, though, the man grabbed my arm. Once he did, I got a terrible feeling. We walked a few steps into the parking lot until I heard a voice yell, hey, at us. Then someone yelled at the man to let me go. The man did and then took off running past the parking lot. Another teacher then rushed out to me and asked me if I was all right. I was fine, but very shocked at what had just taken place. The school stayed under a lockdown until they were able to make sure the area was clear. The school didn't have the best of security at the time, and the man had pretty much just walked right into the school. The scary part is, I don't know if he was ever caught. Five years ago, when I was in high school, we were having a very normal day. I was in my fifth hour class, which was my last class of the day, so I was excited to go home. It was gym class, and we happened to be outside playing Foursquare in one of the parking lots behind the school. It wasn't that long into the game when suddenly our teacher, Mr. Watson, told us all to stop our games and listen up. He announced that the school was in a lockdown, and we all needed to go inside and he would get us to a classroom. I wasn't too excited about this, and I was afraid we would be locked down until after school was supposed to get out. Mr. Watson began waving us all inside, and as he was distracted, I saw an opportunity to run away and get to my car. I know it was a dumb thing to do, but I was scared of the lockdown, and I was already outside, so I decided to make a run for it. Mr. Watson didn't even notice me leaving, and I began making my way to my car. At our high school, it costed a lot of money to park in the school parking lot, so they had a free one that was farther away than I parked at. The only problem was to get there it was maybe about a 10 minute walk, and it went through the woods a little bit. I jogged down the path and through the woods. I had to stop and start walking to catch my breath from the run. I stopped to text my best friend Casey that I had left the school and asked what the lockdown was for. As I was standing there on the path though, I started to hear some noises coming towards me. It sounded like another person running. I figured it was another student running away like I had to go to their car. I looked into the direction of the noise and I could see through the trees where the path curved that it was a grown man running. Immediately, I got a bad feeling, and I jumped behind a tree in the woods. The man slowed down and came around the corner. I held my breath and hoped that he wouldn't see me. He had dark hair and a goatee, and walked a ways past me. He kept looking over his shoulder, and then it sounded like he went into the woods because I heard trees and brush being moved around. Then the noises stopped. I waited there and was hoping to hear him walk away, but I heard nothing. It sounded like he had gone just inside the woods about 30 or 40 feet down the path from where I went in. The trees were pretty thick in this area and it was a good place to hide, but I didn't dare move or make a sound. I really just wanted to go to my car and drive away. I realized the mistake that I had made by running from class now, but it was too late to do anything about it. I sat there for a few minutes and I knew the man was still there, but I was sure that he hadn't seen me. I debated in my mind between running back to school or trying to make a run for my car, but they both seemed pretty risky and I didn't want to take a chance. So I remained hiding there trying my best to stay silent because any movement I made would make noises with all the trees and branches in there. I occasionally heard noises from where the man had gone in, pretty much confirming to me that he was still there. After what had to be at least five to ten minutes of hiding, I started to hear police sirens off in the distance. They got closer and closer and seemed to be heading for the school. The sound of those sirens made me feel a little bit safer and more brave, so I then decided I was going to run back towards the school. 
I took a deep breath, and on the count of three, I made a run for it back to the path towards the school. I heard the man start to move in the woods when I started running, but I couldn't tell if he was chasing after me or moving in another direction. I didn't look back at all and ran my fastest until I had made it up to the school. I saw the police officers arriving, and I ran up to one of them and told them about the man in the woods. They had me wait with some other officers for a while. The man had made a run for it, but he ended up being caught a short time later deeper into the woods. Apparently he had been trying to get into the school and had actually broken a window. My mom came and picked me up and I had to get my car later when the area was cleared for us to return.